Welcome back as Alan Wake Part 2 Second DLC The Lake House is now available on PC platform. In this video, I'll be trying it out on my Steam Deck running on SteamOS. We'll be showing you how to enable FSR 3.1.1 frame generation in this game using DLSS enabler. This DLC's campaign length is very short. You can complete it within 3 hours. We will be playing as FPC agent Kiran Estevez who is tasked to solve a mystery at the Lake House Research Facility located on the shores of Cauldron Lake that has gone dark. We will be fighting against monsters coming out of paintings all thanks to creepy experiments conducted by Dr. Mormon and his wife. On PC platform this game is exclusively available on Epic Game Store. I have already shown you the process of installing Epic Game Store on SteamOS via Steam itself. We will drop the video link in the description. First I will show you DLSS enabler setup process. We will be using this build of it version 3.02.000.0 scroll down to the end, expand asset section download the exe file now just download fidelity fx sdk version 1.1.1 from this website i'll give its link in the description expand asset section download the zip link click on it now i'll show you the games directory where you need to install dlss enabler open dolphin file explorer i have installed the game on sd card so i'll just open it this is the sd card directory there is the games install folder Alan Wake 2. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Here games exe file should be present. There it is. I'll be using Proton Tricks to execute DLSS enabler setup file. You can download Proton Tricks for absolutely free from Discover Store. If your Steam Deck is running on SteamOS beta version, you need to use the beta version of Proton Tricks. I have already shown the setup process for this. We'll drop the video link in the description. Launch Proton Tricks. Select non Steam shortcut Epic Games. There it is. Here you will also see the pseudo Steam ID for Epic Game Store. In my case, the ID ends with these numbers 632. We need to go to this directory and then tweak the render.ini file. Need to disable BLS distortion. I'll show you this process in the later part. This window will pop up. Select this option. Select the default wine tricks. OK. Check this option, run explorer, then click on OK. This window will pop up, navigate to a directory where DLSS enabler setup file is present. In my case, it's my computer, C drive, home, deck, downloads. I have transferred the setup file to this folder, FSR 3.1.1. There it is. This is the exe file that we just downloaded. Double click. This window will pop up, click on I accept, next, next, browse, navigate to the games installed directory. In my case it's the SD card, D drive, Allen Wake 2, this is the final directory, click on OK, next, check the first option, install as a version.dll file, check this option, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs, Steam Deck comes with an AMD based GPU, that's it, next, install, wait for the process to complete, there you go. Uncheck this option, finish, the mod has been installed. Now I'll update the version of FSR. Close these windows. Open the archive file of Fidelity FX SDK that we downloaded earlier. There it is. Double click. Now open bin folder. Expand it. From this directory, just extract this DLL file. AMD underscore Fidelity FX underscore DX12. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this. There is the DLL file, copied. Just need to paste it in the games install directory where we installed DLSS enabler. This file will already be present here. Need to overwrite the existing file. See, overwrite. Process is that simple. Just need to add one launch option to Epic Game Store. Select Epic Games in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here, then click on properties. Under launch option, add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. This will load the mod. I'm using GProton version 9-15 as the compatibility layer. I'll show you how to disable B-Lens distortion post-processing effect. It will help in preventing frame generation related graphical artifacts. You just need to open Epic Games Store's Compare Data folder. This folder's name is basically Epic Games Pseudo Steam ID, which we can obtain from Proton Tricks. This is the ID in my case. It will vary from Steam Deck user to user. 
as Epic Games is a non-Steam Windows application and with 632 open Dolphin File Explorer click on home open dot local folder if this folder is not visible on your steam deck click on the hamburger icon here check the settings show hidden files dot local share look for steam folder in this directory there it is now open steam apps folder open compart data folder look for epic games compart data folder there it is in my case Android 632 open pfx folder open drive c folder open users folder open steam user folder open app data folder open local folder here look for remedy folder there it is open alan wake 2 folder open render.ini file just make sure vlens distortion is set to false if it is set to true just change the value from true to false already done in my case then click on save here close you are ready to run the game and switch to steam os gaming mode connected my cosmic by stellaris gamepad to steam deck via bluetooth mode this game has very variable performance fps on steam deck varies from 20 to 50 depending on the scene epic games is starting performance qm settings i have set the overlay level to 3 i own the lcd variant of steam deck its display supports up to 60 hertz refresh rate and just uncap the fps disable frame limit and allow tearing settings enabled and that's it launch alan wake 2 ignore this message 12 gb of physical memory available i have set the emf of size to 4 gb in game settings display mode set to borderless upscaler set to dlss this means the mod is working the mod basically replaces dlss upscaler with either FSR or XCSS subscaler frame generation disabled for the time being using the performance preset of DLSS subscaler motion blur, film grain and lens distortion disabled lowest preset used effects disabled ray tracing off that's it there's agent as the best I'll just select the upscaler open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key you can map it to any of steam decks back grip buttons if you don't have any keyboard yeah upscale is selected fsr 2.1.2 just use my mouse change it from fsr to xcss it will help in fixing the texture shimmering issue this is the version of xcss 1.3.1 just click on apply here and that's it close this is the game running without frame generation save point here yeah, fps is very variable the range is from 30 to 50 depending on the scene i'll be fighting against some takens here image quality is looking decent nothing special using the performance preset of xcss just don't use fsi in this game otherwise you'll observe a lot of texture shimmering okay i'll just enable frame generation now 32 45 fps without it on check out the input response i can observe the added amount of smoothness i'm also observing some double images around the left and bottom edges of the display common fsr frame generation related artifact there is some minor ghosting around the character model as well these effects become more noticeable at lower base fps values looking for a taken there it is pause the darkness around it serves as a shield and just point my flashlight at it if you observe some stuttering after enabling frame generation you just cap the fps at 60 using performance qm settings I have observed this bug in God of War Ragnarok. Here yeah, performance seems to be okay. FPS is still variable. Can suddenly drop from 60 to 46. Poor visibility here. 
Oh no, another taken. Mm, these creatures are quick. Oh my god, look at this thing. Peered out of nowhere. Need to restore my health. Yeah, you can play the game on Steam Deck. Not the ideal experience, but yeah, it's playable. Oh my god. Need to cast this guy. So quick. Reload. Got him. Go to the next area. Going to sub level 1. Here I am absorbing some FPS drops. Very variable FPS. Just standing in the lift. I think the next area is getting loaded up. Hearing some gunshots. There's Mamon. Oh my god. The game is running in a very choppy manner. Here the base FPS is actually even lower than 30. 40 FPS using frame generation, you get the idea. So very variable performance, depends on the sub level. Here I'll be fighting against some monsters coming out of painting. Need to be careful. They can appear out of nowhere and grab you. Need to get a weapon to kill these monsters. Standard weapons won't work. There's the weapon. Charge the black rock launcher. There's the monster, see? It's coming. Blasted it. So 40 to 70 FPS with frame generation enabled. Depends on the area. That's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.